Hey, it's Chris, and in this video, we're going to take a first look at the new Stolen Goat sunglass range. Sunglass, sunglasses? I think it's sunglasses. Anyway, so there are a chapter markers for this video because first I'm going to talk about why proper cycling sunglasses are important. Then I'll talk a bit of a rant about how hard it is to get hold of them. And then we'll do the unboxing of the new Stolen Goat Hexi sunglasses. Okay, so first thing, well, why is it important to have cycling sunglasses? Can I just use regular sunglasses? Well, you can, but I really don't recommend it. So I went, f I got some from like, you can get them off Wish or AliExpress and they're like less than 10 pounds and you think this is great. The problem with really cheap imported sunglasses is you don't know how they've been crash tested. And the problem is if you crash off your bike, and you've got cheap sunglasses that aren't crash tested and shatterproof, they can shatter into pieces, they can cut your face, they can blind you. It can end really nastily now. I'm not saying that will happen, but I, I'm, I have seen horror stories where that kind of thing has happened. And so for me, I'm, I'm definitely investing in proper cycling sunglasses. Now that doesn't mean you need to go out and get the really high-end ones. You can go down to Evans and get a pair of FWE ones. They'll be very affordable and they will do the job and they will be safe to wear. But I am saying maybe don't go buy them imported from a really discount Chinese importer because you won't necessarily know whether they've been properly tested or not. Whereas if you buy them here in the UK from a reputable shop, you can be sure that they will have been and they'll be safe. So that having said, I normally wear these Roka, uh, I think they're the SL1s, and they're, they're really, they're nice sunglasses. I'm happy with them. The problem is that they're too dark a lot of the time. And so I wanted some fairly clear ones I could use in cloudy conditions or like in the rain to protect my eyes because these aren't really suitable there. And it's just super hard to get hold of them in the UK at the moment. I've been looking for months and months and I, I like the Roka ones, but Roka only shop sell a very limited range of their stuff here. And so I went to Smith because Smith do some really nice, I think it's the uh, Attack Mag and they're all interchangeable. You can swap the lenses and the frames around and. Again, they only sell a very limited range of what they really offer in the UK. So if you're in the US, fine. Really hard to get a hold of it over here. Didn't really like the Oakleys. Oakleys are fully available here. And if you like Oakleys and Happy Days, didn't really get on with that. Rafa I looked at and they didn't have any clear or photochromatic lenses. And I, wasn't a big fan of any of the other designs. I finally settled on, okay, well, I'll just get some Tifosi and then it, I'm not a big fan of their design, like just the look of them. I'm sure they're great sunglasses, um, but I'll, I just need something, so I'll get that. And just then, Stolen Go emailed me and said, we're launching a uh, sunglasses range next week. They didn't email me specifically. They sent out a newsletter. I'm not in with Stolen Goat. I've just bought these. This isn't a, a paid review or anything. So after like I started looking in like winter and now it's June after like nine months of searching for some sunglasses, I'm hoping that these Stolen Goat ones here will be the answer. I, like I literally, I haven't opened these. They were only released on Thursday last week. Today's Monday. So Literally, I'm other than the people that have been testing them on, I'm, I'm probably one of the first customers to have these. And I, if these aren't any good, then I'm going to be disappointed because that's like I've been waiting nine months to get some sunglasses I can wear in darker conditions. And uh, if these aren't it, then that's going to be disappointing. So they've released, they're calling them the Hexi and the Hexi Plus. Hexi are everything's interchangeable, I think. Hexi Plus have big frames and Hexi is frame, mostly frameless. And I think you can swap between the two. So you can't buy individual replacement lenses yet, but you can buy, you, like I could buy a Hexi Plus with the frame and a different lens type. And then I think I can interchange all of them. Not 100% sure, but that's what it sounds like on the website. So this looks a good start, got a nice hard case. And 
and I went with the the photochromatic lenses so the ones that get darker when it's sunny and then become clear become clear when it isn't so got a little instruction thing here and I think this is this looks like a cleaning cloth um, oh no it's a sunglasses case sorry so a little you get a soft case inside the hard case just in case you haven't got enough cases I guess it it might also act as a cloth who knows and then You just have to rip into this bag. Oh. Okay, nice. So I, I think it's it's called Hexi because it uses a lot of these uh, these hexagon shapes here. Um, it says everything is adjustable. Let's just try it out of the box. So those, there's no, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't seem to snap open. Some of them snap. I think my Roka ones snap. Yeah, so there's a real snap there. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna close until you give it some real force. Doesn't look like these have them. Not a, not a major deal, but um, yeah, let's try them on. Oh, that's lovely. So the the thing I don't like about my current Roka glasses is they're not very tall. So if I put them on, that's fine. Like it covers my vision up to here. But as soon as I get down on my aero bars, I can see right over the top of this and I've got sun coming into my eyes. Now in fairness, Roka do sell an SL1 or SL Max or something that goes a bit higher up there. Um, but as I say, it's just it's just really hard to get hold of the products I want. These seem to these do actually go up a little there. So let's compare them side by side. So I'm getting I'm getting much bigger, much more coverage there. Looks like they come down a similar height, but um, these go up and then up again. So I think these will be really nice. when I get down in the aero position if I've got them on if I pull them down to there I can see over the top but there that's actually covering my full view so when I'm down on my aero bars shouldn't get sun coming into my eyes which is nice and what I might do is have a quick read over the instructions and see if there's any fiddling I can do around and we'll talk through that Okay, I've had a quick read through the leaflet and from the look of it, I think the Hexi and the Hexi Plus are not interchangeable because the Hexi Plus has some extra little grips for the top bar and bottom bar. Um, so you do need to choose frameless or frames and just stick with your choice, I think. Um, but I can also take the, take the arms off. So if you do want to get a different color um, arms or temple mounts or whatever whatever you're calling them um, you can interchange them and they just like you literally just slide it off there and then push it back on not quite sure I've aligned that perfectly let's have a look yeah that is not on is it <laughs> Okay, got it. So I wasn't pushing it far enough down. It was a bit of a mission to to get that back on though because it kept it's definitely on now, doesn't come off, but it, it was definitely uh yeah, definitely took more effort. More effort than I would like and I've, I've smudged my glasses a bit. Oh, okay. Let's put them back on. Okay, nice. Grand. So that is a first look at the Stolen Goat Hexi sunglasses. 
this isn't a review, I will post a proper review after I've been using them for a couple of weeks or months and really know whether they cut it or not. Um, but for now, yeah, the, the coverage looks nice. Um, how how smudge free they'll work, how well they will work outside is a much bigger test. They feel comfortable. The arms are um, it's a bit annoying. They don't snap and um, they're a bit hard to get on and off. But uh, otherwise, things look good.